David McConnell Jr. said, Climb the mountain not to plant your flag, but to embrace the challenge. Enjoy the air and behold the view. Climb it so you can see the world, not so the world can see you. Climbing a mountain is challenging and tiring. It made me feel grumpy when my feet and pants get wet when it rains. But it also made me happy seeing the sun and hearing the birds chirp. I had a unique experience when I needed to pass fault and there weren't any toilet around. So I had to dig a little dirt and find a good kind of leaf to wipe my bottom. That was so organic and natural. I also got amazed to see giant trees along the road. I am so thankful to God for creating marvelous creations to behold. It makes me want to go back again to the mountain. For professional climbers, their goal is to see and experience the most challenging and difficult treks and peaks in the world, but most of all to conquer Mount Everest. Mount Everest is the highest mountain on earth and is still growing for about 2 to 4 centimeters every year. It is crowned as the tallest mountain in the world. Everest is over 60 million years old and can be found in the Himalayas, the highest mountain range in the world. Its peak is on the border of Nepal and China, and the air on top is too thin for human beings to live. Most climbers use bottled oxygen when nearing its summit or peak to reduce the risk of dying. 304 people have died trying to climb the Everest. Almost all the bodies are still in the mountain. Mount Everest was named after a British surveyor, George Everest, in 1841. It is called Chumalungma, meaning Mother Goddess of the Universe in Tibet and Sagar Martha, meaning goddess of the sky, in Nepal. The first people who reached its peak were Edmund Hillary from New Zealand and Tenzing Norgay from Nepal on May 29, 1953. The youngest climber, Jodan Romero of USA, age 13, reached the top on May 23, 2010. And the oldest man, Yuchiro Miura of Japan, at the age of 80, reached the peak on May 23, 2013. It takes two months to climb Mount Everest in order for the body to adjust the high altitude. Would you climb the tallest mountain? Me? I'd get frightened to climb the highest peak on Earth, but I would take the courage so I can reach the top. Just like many mountaineers dream, Mount Everest is the ultimate climb. Have you ever wondered if a Filipino reached this paramount? I got very lucky and favored to see in person and hang out with one of the three Filipinos who first conquered the Earth's tallest mountain, the Mount Everest. Hi everyone, good day to all of you. Um, I want to share with you um, about the three, the one of the three Filipinos who reached the most highest peak on Earth. And I would like to introduce you to Mr. Hey. What did you get this in Uh We get in Mount Everest to survive is we get nine, uh, 80 to 90 percent carbohydrates because you know carbohydrates is very easy to convert into energy. How do you sleep? Uh, we sleep in Mount Everest is not normal because of the thin air, so the oxygen uh, from at the summit is about one third. So from uh, uh, you know base cup, the oxygen there is fifty percent. So we we sleep like a uh, chicken. We sleep, then we awake, then sleep again. So it's like a chicken. How long did you train? Uh, we train for three years because. Filipino is, we live in tropical country, so we don't have ice and snow in the Philippines because we are very near in uh, Equator. So we need to train, we need to study. How long did you take this the, We take the, during our climb, uh, including the acclimatization because we came from sea level. So we did sea level and the Mount Everest is high altitude mountain. So if you go directly from sea level, go, we go directly to this camp, so you will die. So we need to acclimatize. You climb, then go back, 
so that our body will adjust the high altitude. So it takes more than three months to summit Mount Everest. How long is it? The minimum, because Mount Everest is like uh, if you have North Pole and South Pole, Everest is considered also a uh, Everest Pole. So the ice is whole year round. So the minimum temperature there is about minus 10 degrees. If you have bad weather, so it slows down, uh, it takes about minus 40 degrees Celsius. Last question. Why do you climb Mount Everest? We climb Mount Everest because if we are sports, our ultimate goal is Olympic. So we are mountaineers, so our ultimate goal is the highest mountain or the highest peak on earth, which is Mount Everest. What do you advise aspiring climbers? Uh, I advise aspiring climbers we need to study first in the tree, step by step, because especially for us, we live in tropical country, uh, very difficult in climbing and alpine environment.